Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Y pues hoy por fin les tenemos su story time. Honestly, this is the second time I filmed this because the first time I was like so distracted. Clearly, I cannot multitask. I was rewatching the video, like editing it. And then I was like, oh my God, I forgot to say this. Oh my God, I forgot to say that. But without further ado, let's get right into the topic. So a few videos ago, I can't really remember exactly which one it was, but I will look for it. Basically, I had mentioned something about having a story time and about me being on stage, right? I'll insert a clip right here. Vamos a ver unos grupos. You know, you gotta be extra because you never know when you might get on the stage. <laughs> That's an insider, by the way. And if y'all want to hear the story behind that, let me know. Anyways, this all started about, I want to say about five years ago. Como pasa el tiempo, right? Time flies. But back then, I didn't really go out very much. And when I would go out, I would go to like the movies to eat. Basically, that's all I would really do. When I would go out, that's all I would really do. And I would go out to the club here and there, but not really that much. No me llamaba mucha la atención to go out back then. I don't know why. After a while, I was going through like this like very tough situation for me at the moment. I was having some issues and I started going back out a little bit. I met new people, you know, started hanging out with new friends. It was all fun. And obviously I started going out more here and there every weekend. And then every weekend, like turn into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday started turning into, oh, well, let's do this on Tuesday. Let's do the, that on Thursday. You know, pretty soon I started going out. Like, I could you not, I went out every single day of the week for the most part. Era rara la vez when I would be home. And whenever I was home, it was only like a quick thing. Like, let me go home, get ready and head out the door again, you know? <laughs> And antes, my mom, when I was going through this moment of, you know, my depression or whatever, like she would tell me, es que Mayra sal, no estás encerrada aquí, blah, 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 you know, conoce gente, hazte más amigos, blah, blah, and I would be like, nah, I don't really feel like it, it's okay, I don't care, you know, whatever. And... <laughs> But once I started partying, <laughs> it was game over. My mom was like, ¿Ahora dónde vas? You know, like, ya no estás en la casa, siempre estás con tus amigos, blah, blah, blah. You know, typical mom stuff. Nomás trabajaba and I would go party. And that's it. That's all my life consisted of. And I had fun. I'm not going to lie. It was so much fun. We had great moments. Cuando salía, salía, and we would have, like, a lot of all-nighters. Like, <laughs> yeah, I would always be getting in trouble because of that, too. Because my mom would get on my ass, like, ¿Qué horas son estas de estar llegando? And I'm like, bro, I was chilling with my friends, you know? <laughs> it was so fun. It was so fun. Honestly, I'm not going to regret it. I mean, knock on wood, Okay, you know, hopefully I don't have to deal with that with my children, but you know what they say, everything you do comes back at you twice as hard, which that has me a little worried, but I mean, I don't regret it. It was fun and I learned a lot from everything. So yeah, now we know I was partying all the time, all the fucking time. We would go to a bar or a club or one of our friend's houses and be like, hey, you know, we're gonna go over here, meet us up there, blah, 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 or come with us, like, para estar todos, you know, toda la banda. That's how they would call it, según éramos, you know, la banda de, la banda de. We started getting a lot into, like, going to the clubs to see grupos or, like, a certain artist perform o esto, el otro, and I don't know how that all started, but empezamos a, a, a agarrar like a bunch of VIPs all the time. Venía alguien, oh, you know, let's get a VIP or what? Yeah, I'm down, I'm down, all right. Well, ahí vamos with our VIP, bien chingón en nosotros with our bottle service and this and that and whatnot. Because we were in that VIP, we were cool, whatever. <laughs> but we would always be doing that, right? So one time, I don't remember if it was 
last a last minute thing or what but i remember that my friends hit me up talking about that they wanted to go to see el compa chuy because he was gonna be um here in dallas that day and if i'm not mistaken i want to say it was during the week that he came i don't know if it was like thursday or friday something like that but i do remember that there weren't very many people there that night so you know we got all cute we got our VIP, que no podía faltar, ya saben, with our little bottle service and whatever. And I think only four of us went that night because everybody else, I don't know if they were busy or they had work the next day. I can't remember what their excuse was that night. We showed up, you know, started drinking, whatnot. Here comes Compa Chuy, you know, performing and whatnot. And I don't know how this began, but I just remember being on stage with him. I was like walking up there. I went on stage or whatever. We would drink like a lot of bucana. So I avoid with my little bottle or whatever. And I was the only one on stage with him. I can't remember what song he was performing or what he was saying, whatever. But I yo I voy yo bien bien chingona, bien creída, you know, because I was on stage with el compa Chuy. And I I get, I try to give him the bottle, right? And I was like, hey, you know, tomele, whatever, you know. And he took it from me. He took the bottle from me and he was like, here, and try to give it to me. So, you know, I wasn't going to be like, I know, not, hell no. You know, damn well, I was like, oh, I was ready. I was ready. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember if he drank some or not. So I was up there for a little bit and then, you know, I went back to my friends and I was all like, hey, you know, I went up there with compa chuy, whatever, you know, <laughs> crazy and shit. I know I have a picture of that. And I'll post it right here so y'all could see it. I'm gonna try to look for more um, like videos and pictures and whatnot. I don't know if my friends have some. I'm gonna have to ask them. So you best believe that was not the last time I did that. Mm -mm. There was another occasion. At um, This time though, I believe it was on a Saturday and it was... Oh my god. Like I remember back then I was so obsessed with Noel Torres and Regulo Caro. Like those two were my two favorites at the moment. And oh my goodness, I was so obsessed with them. And they were like popping back then in ese tiempo. Here we go. You know, this time, I guess since Cayo on a Saturday, there were a lot more people. We did the same thing. We got our VIP. Now, this time it was like a lot more of us. You know, we're over here drinking, having a good time, singing, whatever, on Snapchat, you know, recording ourselves, like, hey, you know. All of a sudden, Regulo Caro comes on, and I think they asked if anybody wanted to come up on stage, right? So I'm over here, like, oh, me, 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 you know, raising my hand and whatever, like, pick me, pick me. And um, I see one of my friends, like, I met him, I.E., and he was a bouncer. He was a security there at the club. Okay, first, let me describe to you exactly how we were. So at this particular club, their VIP is like up near the stage, right? Oh, so, yeah, that's this is the VIP. And then right here in the middle, there was like some stairs because at the VIP, it was like at a higher level or whatever. So you would have to go up the stairs and there was a rail right here. This is the stage. The only thing that divided the stage and the VIP were those stairs that were right here. We were right here. We were over there partying, having the time of our life. The Whoever was performing was up here. I remember that Regulo Caro got on. This is me right here. Regulo Caro got on. This is Regulo Caro. <laughs> they started asking who wanted to come on stage. So I'm over here like fangirling, like, oh, me, me, me. They pointed at me and they were like, come on. And I see my uh, my friend, the security, he's down like at the bottom of the stairs right there near the stage. So tell me why my Jackie Chan ass over here. This is me. I freaking, keep in mind, I'm wearing a dress and heels. Y yo bien pinche Jackie Chan. Me brinqué. Like, I... I was like right here and I got onto the sillones and I jumped. I literally jumped. Like, like, have y'all ever seen like in the movies when the robbers are, are 
running from the cops or whatever and they jumped the fence i literally jumped over the freaking vip section like that i don't know how i did it i don't know how i landed without fucking my damn ankles up <laughs> But I did it, <laughs> and I was right here, you know, standing or whatever, acabajo on the lower level. And then my friend's like, what the hell? Like, why did you do that? No, you shouldn't do that, da 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 And I'm like, well, I'm over here trying to hurry up because me in my head, I was over here thinking, si no me apuro, you know, they're going to choose some other girl, and I'm not going to be able to get up there, right? And he's like, no, next time go around, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, like, here come these other girls, and they let them on stage too. So I was like, damn, if I would have known, like, I wouldn't have, like, done all that extraness, you know? I would have just gotten out, went around, you know? instead of doing all those shenanigans over there that i was doing <laughs> so finally i got on stage over here with i was like hey you know here i come with my bottle again and i was like here tomale same as compa chui same thing i was like tomale da, 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 da. this fool ignored me which now looking back i don't really mind you know i guess he was just focusing on his job or whatever but in the moment, I was like, tomale, tomale, whatever, you know, like, and I, until, like, hasta que agarré la onda, and I was like, wait, he's ignoring me. Like, oh, okay. And after that, obviously, you know, they made us get off eventually. It was pretty fun. Unfortunately, though, when I went up there with Regulo Caro, like, I didn't take my phone. So I didn't get a selfie with him sucks next time now i know oh you like it's good next time oh you like <laughs> i don't regret it i had a lot of fun and like even now i think about it i'm like i pinche loca you know what the hell was i doing but at least now i have like stories to tell my kids and my grandkids you know like, no no me pueden contar porque yo ya lo viví you know like been there done that chick it was great we had some great moments and sometimes like i'm not gonna lie like i do miss the excitement the adrenaline you know being around everybody i will try to look for pictures and videos um see if i can get any from my friends if they have any and yeah i will post them right here for y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please comment and share. See y'all next time. Peace. Okay.